welcome back to the tech couch so in this video I'm going to show you what to do if something on your phone isn't working I'm just going to apologize off the bat to everyone who this fix doesn't work for it won't work for every problem and won't work every time but when it does it can save you a ton of hassle and is really great to know if you find that apps are running weirdly or um, something else is just feeling glitchy while you're using your phone this is probably the most advanced thing you're going to want to try. I would always suggest first to try closing an app, um, see if that works, then try just normal restarting your phone, turning it off and on, and if that doesn't work, you now are going to try this, which is often called the hard restart, some people call it the hard reset. Anyway, it turns your phone off and on, and it does it in a way that resets some things and it fixes 90% of the problems that don't get fixed by just turning your phone off and on. So I'm going to show you how to do this and there's basically two ways and it's going to depend on which phone you're using. If you're using the newest phone, the iPhone 7, there's going to be um, one way to do it. And if you're using any phone before the iPhone 7, um, you're going to have a different way of doing this. So Basically, the idea is the same, just the button combination will be different. So on the older phones, um, the way you're going to do it is hold the home and power button at the same time until you see the Apple logo. So I'm just going to do that. It's off. And release. And you've set that to go. Now on the newer phone, what's going to happen is if you hold the home and power button, um, it's not ever going to get you to that place. It'll just um, either activate Siri or do a screenshot um, once you release the buttons. But what you're going to do is you're going to hold the, the power button and the volume down button and that should do it. And Apple logo and we've reset the phone. And um, what's nice about this fix is that it's really easy to do on your own. Um, even the best of devices are gonna have glitches here and there, and it's good to have this in your toolbox for when you need to troubleshoot any of those kind of software issues. Basically, if this doesn't fix your software problem, you've gotta go in and get technical support, and that's also pretty easy with your Apple products. You just um, go make an appointment with the Genius Bar and they'll usually be able to fix whatever is going on. So thanks for joining me again on the Tech Couch and we look forward to seeing you in the next one.